Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nerdy Coder. If you're the first time seeing my video, please give me a like and subscribe and share this video with others. This will give me more motivation to create new videos for you. MongoDB is a very popular database engine. According to the DB Engine's ranking of database management systems, MongoDB is currently ranked fifth in popularity among all databases, behind Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, and PostgreSQL databases. Among all NoSQL databases, MongoDB is ranked first. If you heard the term mean stack or Mern stack, the letter M refers to MongoDB. When you need to choose which database to use for your application, the first thing is to decide between SQL and NoSQL databases. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. As the name suggests, SQL databases are perfect for rigid, consistent, and structured data. If you need to perform complex queries with many joins between tables, and your data needs to be highly reliable and accurate, then SQL database is for you. However, SQL database can only scale vertically. This means that in order to increase performance and capacity, you need to use a server with faster CPUs, more memories, and larger hard disk. NoSQL stands for not only SQL or non-SQL. NoSQL databases can store flexible and dynamic data without a fixed schema. They have high availability and performance and can scale horizontally. This means that you can increase performance and capacity by adding more servers. However, NoSQL databases typically support only simple queries and lookups, although there are exceptions. If you decide to use NoSQL databases, MongoDB is one of your top choices. MongoDB is a document-oriented NoSQL database that provides high performance, high availability, and automatic scaling. It is designed to store JSON documents and manage large volumes of data that can be accessed quickly and easily. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five reasons why MongoDB is so popular and why it is superior than many other NoSQL databases. The first is scalability. MongoDB can easily scale horizontally by distributing the data across multiple servers or clusters. This enables MongoDB to handle large volumes of data and high user loads without compromising performance or availability. MongoDB supports two types of horizontal scaling out of the box, replication and sharding. In replication, all write traffic goes to the primary server node, and data is asynchronously replicated to the secondary server nodes. You cannot increase the write capacity with replication. However, if your application can tolerate stored data, you can have your read traffic going to the secondary nodes and increase the read capacity. Replication can also help increase data availability and act as a backup in case the primary server fails. In sharding, MongoDB handles horizontal scaling across servers using a shard key. This means that rather than copying data holistically, sharding copy pieces of the data across multiple replica sets. You can use a shard key to indicate how you want to divide up your data. For example, if your data has an attribute named ID, you can have all data with ID between 1 and 100 to reside in one shard, data with ID between 101 and 200 in another shard. With sharding, you can increase both the read and write capacity by increasing the number of shards. The second reason why MongoDB is so popular is its expressiveness in queries. MongoDB supports a rich and very powerful query language that allows you to perform various operations on the data, such as filtering, sorting, updating, deleting, aggregating, projecting, joining, and more. MongoDB's query language is based on JSON syntax, which makes it easy to read and write. You can also use operators and functions to perform logical, arithmetic, comparison, array, string, date, and other operations on the data. MongoDB's aggregation framework enables you to obtain results similar to the group by clause in SQL databases. MongoDB also supports join operation across documents similar to a SQL database. Join operation is not the most performant with MongoDB, but if you really need to join documents, MongoDB is capable. 
However, if you find yourself needing to run join queries all the time, you may need to review your data model design or even consider using a SQL database. The third reason why MongoDB is so popular is that MongoDB is asset compliant. As it stands for automaticity, consistency, isolation, and durability, it is important for ensuring the integrity and accuracy of data in a database system. It helps prevent data corruption, loss, or inconsistency that could compromise the quality and performance of the system. Most SQL databases are ASIC compliant, but it is not the case for NoSQL databases. MongoDB is one of the few NoSQL databases which are ASIC compliant. MongoDB supports distributed model document ASIC transactions since version 4.2. Transactions allow you to make updates to multiple documents in an all or nothing manner. Either all updates are made to multiple documents or no updates are made to any document if there's any error in one of the documents. Having the capability to perform transactions will be handy when you need it. However, transactions over multiple documents have greater performance impact to MongoDB. If you find yourself needing to perform multiple document transactions frequently, you may have to view your data model. The fourth reason for MongoDB's popularity is that it is a multi-purpose database. Besides storing JSON documents, you can also store and query geospatial data in the form of GeoJSON, store time series data, and even perform text search on the database. Even though you may not find yourself needing these features right away, you may need some of these features as your application grows and you don't have to switch to a different database engine. The fifth reason why MongoDB is so popular is that despite all these powerful features, MongoDB is completely free to use with its community edition. Although MongoDB's source code is available, it is not open source due to its licensing model. If you're offering MongoDB as a service to the public, then you must release all the source code associated with your service offering. However, if you're just using MongoDB as your application's backend database, then you don't have to release any source code and you don't have to pay for anything with the community edition even for commercial applications. These are some of the reasons why MongoDB is so popular among developers and businesses. It is really difficult to find other NoSQL databases as powerful and feature-rich as MongoDB. If you're building your application and needing a NoSQL database, you couldn't go wrong with MongoDB. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use MongoDB and show you some of the features it offers. This is the video I wanted to share with you today. If you like this video and find this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe and share this video with others. This will give me more motivation to create new videos for you. Thank you for your support. Goodbye and see you in the next video.